mean, that's who I am. I'm just like really colorful. It's anywhere from J. Crew to J. C. Penny. And then the best accessory. Uh... No, it is. <laughs> Perfect. from New York. Fully all black ensemble. What is it about black that intrigues you? Versatility, ease, um, chic. Do you ever wear anything else besides black? Of course, I have to. I have to brighten up my life sometimes, <laughs> but I love black. Black is always chic. The Mysterious lines, everything. Well. Yeah, totally. <laughs> right. My style and fashion inspirations. I would have to say Rihanna first and foremost. I love how she mixes sexy with comfort. Always. Okay. Shell Lamy, Rick Owen's wife, she's amazing. She's the most chic woman I think I've ever seen in my life. Chicer than you? I highly I doubt so. that though. She's definitely, she's definitely the You're bringing the goat. it today though. Thank All you. Right. These are Rick Owen's shades. Right, Side bag is Nike. Fresh. Yep. Jackie, the jacket is Nike Sakai. The pants are Nike Sakai. Um, Let me see the kicks. These are Nike Comme des Garçons. This, also, this jacket is Nike Sakai, but underneath we have Ghetto Gastro. All right. Flavor Academy. Yes. Shout out to Ghetto Gastro, always. <laughs> All right. And then the best accessory, uh, baby Bun in the belly. Fun in the oven. Fun in the <laughs> oven. Japanese culture in general is very chic, very clean lines. Um, they put everything together really well. Um, the layers of fashion with with Japanese fashion like they have so many layers but it's just it's just perfectly done yeah speaking of layers right you're yes. doing it all right <laughs> what do you think your own outfit says about you uh, for me it's function functionality comfort I'm pregnant so I need things that are like loose fitting airy move with me flow with me yeah comfort is the biggest thing for me I think also just like you bobbing and weaving through the city on some ninja shit. You know what I mean? You're in stealth mode, yes. I can tell. Yes, yes. It's time of the video yeah. where we rate the fit. So on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? 10. Woo! 10 out of 10. Before I let you go, let me get you to share the Instagram. Devanucci. My name is Dahlia and I'm from Switzerland, Geneva. I study at NYU Sport Management and I'm also on the women basketball team. You right. can't stop you. You know, you know. And you look amazing, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> As I said, uh, I'm a basketball player. So basketball and like hip hop culture, you know, fashion culture always has been like, you know, together. And so I remember when I was playing, when I was like seven, 10 years old, I already had like, that approach to fashion by customization, you know, customize my shoes, and then my dad too was always well fitted, you know. Shout out to our Cortis, you know, UK brand is like going all over the place. Sunglasses just thrifted, you know. Okay, that was thrifted in Switzerland, Geneva. Okay, the necklace from my mom uh, over here is also from my family, you know, from my baptism. And over here we have a vintage Gucci from my mom. Over here I have a Claudie Perlo, uh, you know, kind of jacket really with the, with with the here. Super exactly. We love that French, French brand. We have here a pair from Uniqlo. Okay. Basics. And, and of the course, kicks. the kicks uh, is the Jordan 14. Shout out to Alayli May. So she's one of the first, like you know, uh, female designer to have like designed um, Jordan shoes. Uh, Off the cuff, right? Yeah. So if you have your chance to hmm. work with Jordan brand, yeah, which Jordan would you design? Ooh, that's a great question. The 14s are my ultimate favorite, you know. Okay. Um, then, of course, jo Jordan 1. So it will be all the 14s, all the 1s. Okay. What do you think your outfit says about you? Mm, I'll say streetwear with a touch of like luxury. Uh, I'm from Geneva, it's a bit luxurious, but I'm from Cape Verde too, you know, so it's a bit cool too. So I want to mix the street and the luxury together. Well, it's time to rate the fit. All On right. a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? Okay, I'll oh, say spin? in French, on this. 
10. 10 Woo. for me. 10 for me. That's it. Let me get you to share your Instagram. Yeah, so it's Dalia.Montero. Hi, I'm Tessa. I'm from Berlin, but living in New York. All the way from Germany. <laughs> what are you doing here? Um, I'm art director in a fashion store like near Nolita. Very, very colorful outfit, right? That's who I am, yes. So, let me ask you this. In your opinion, who dresses better, Germans or New Yorkers? I think New Yorkers, to be honest. Why yeah. do you say that? Yeah, I mean, it's just like so multicultural and like you have everything and I'm so inspired by the city. For me, personally, I just like love shopping vintage and like this is like my biggest inspiration and I'm, I'm not going after like big brands. So for me, independent designers, smaller designers, like from Europe, I really enjoy and yeah, just like always on the hunt for like vintage fashion, yeah. Um, the hat is like from our store, actually. It's uh, called Wesh. The glass is from Acne. This is uh, a vintage piece from Berlin. And also this is vintage and yeah, the rest you can see. Okay. <laughs> and then Nike, of course, right? <laughs> and then the small bag? The small bag is like... I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Actually, Silfen. I don't know. It's a. Uh, it's. I think it's a small studio from Copenhagen. What do you think your outfit says about you? I mean, that's who I am. I'm just like really colorful, and I'm expressing myself like through my like clothes. So I'm. I'm usually a little bit shy person, but this is how I speak. This is yeah, how it I says you're a fun person, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your own outfit? I think it's a solid like 8.5. Can you share your Instagram? Yes, of course. Uh, I'm Tessa Remeyer. Well, my name is Jonathan Holgray, uh, born and raised in New York, and I am a street artist and I write children's books. My aunts, um, they were, you know, very uh, high on French fashion and American fashion, and um, they just gave me books and I pursued it. Well, my aunt inspired me. In, in fashion because she always loved uh, B. Altman's when they were open and uh, Lord and & Taylor. And so um, I went to parochial school, so most of my life I was used to, you know, wearing a tie and jacket. And so it was, uh, it's, it's, it's just easy to put together just, you know, an Oxford shirt and khaki pants and uh, a pair of penny loafers without socks. It's just the perfect outfit to just throw on and just go out. What initially got you into, you know, the Ivy look? The, well, I prefer the term Ivy League. Love the, the clean cut lines and the color. It symbolizes happiness and yet, you know, quietness. And you could wear it for decades on end without worrying about having to replace it. Yup, it never goes out of style. It never goes out of style. Well, the bucket hat I received as a gift and I love the color orange. It's a happy color, and I wear it when I'm in Bridgehampton, and they love it. The shades are another gift. The Tweed Brazer is a vintage J. Crew. The scarf is J. Crew. The sweater underneath is Brooks Brothers. The corduroy, the orange corduroy, very rare. These are J.C. Penny. These are actually Ralph Lauren socks. I love the spiral color. Mm -hmm. The shoes, um, I can't wait to um, Belgian loafers. Okay. The gloves I got on eBay. These are writing gloves. These are the, the old fashioned 1920s and early 1900s gloves. Those look like, you know, before gentlemen went to a duel, like you smack your opponent with a glove like that. Oh, no? well, well, that would be the 19th century <laughs> and the gloves would be a bit longer like gauntlets. We're in front of the artwork now, and you asked me to pick out my favorite piece. Yes. So I chose this. Story There's a little behind story it, right? behind this um, print here, and um, it just goes to show you have exceptional taste <laughs> because this print in particular won the 2015 um, Hamptons Classic Horse Show poster design. And I sent it as a joke, and I won for their 40th anniversary. What do you think your outfit says about you? It's, it's a warm outfit that's happy, very welcoming. It's time of the video where we rate the fit. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? 10. Woo! Okay, my Instagram is jhallgray. I'm Lila 
Stratton, and I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I go to school at FIT, which is, you know, right around the corner yeah. pretty much, um, and I'm a fashion business management student. Now that I have short hair, I really enjoy Tatum O'Neill, young Tatum O'Neill with the hats. Um, I love 40s inspiration. And my mom, who she owns a vintage store at home and she's a style icon as well. So I definitely take inspiration from her. What is your favorite thrift store? Well, I have to first shout out my mom. It's Hunt and Gather, Minneapolis. Best vintage store in the world. Yay! And Stella Dallas, if I'm going anywhere here. This jacket's my sister's, actually. We share a lot of the same clothes. Shout out to the sister. Yes. Right? Um, and this hat is hers as well, but we basically share everything. Jeans, I thrifted. And they're free people, I believe, which okay. you can find stuff anywhere. And the kicks? And then these are also my mom's. Um, oh, wow. All the way up there. But the bag is a Fendi bag, and this is um, my sister's that I'm borrowing today. Every piece of clothing is someone special to me. What do you think your outfit says about you? I just like to represent all the pieces of my life, like all my rings represent something important to me. This one's a Nor Norwegian sterling silver ring. All the women in my life wear it. This re represents the Midwestern in me. It's a little uh, spoon ring from Iowa. This is uh, New York to me because I bought it here mm -hmm. at the Chelsea Flea Market. <laughs> you know what? I would like to wear a piece of home. It's time of the video to rate the fit. On a okay. scale of one to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? I would say top half, I would give it like an eight or a nine. Bottom half isn't my favorite. So I give the bottom half like a six out of 10. <laughs> right. So overall, you know, a seven. <laughs> my Instagram is Lystrat. Magdalena Joyce de Gutierrez, and I born in Barcelona, Spain. Right. Love your outfit. Yeah. Yeah. My inspiration is, uh, I think, is me is unique. Every day is totally different. In my Instagram, uh, every day is all the things different: hats, flowers, necklaces. This is my my I I had my necklaces. You yeah. made it. Yeah, 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 mate. Like yeah, yeah. Many, many. Oh, wow. And 300? Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. And normally, no, today is very serious. But normally, my uh, um, red, yellow, many colors, okay, always. Okay, awesome. Yeah, today is very serious. Love it. Okay. Yeah. So, let's talk about where did you get the pieces? Where is this from? Uh, this is from New York. New York? This is Valentino from Italy. And... Uh, uh, okay. Uh, different colors. Okay, and the, your shoes? Zapatos? Zapatos is a. Yeah, zapatos. This is the. Yeah. <laughs> and then your yeah, bag. This is Christian Dior, this, this bag. Christian Dior. <laughs> it's time to rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate your own outfit? Yo pongo, me pongo, ten, always. No, 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 no.